every financial instrument and the manipulation of every financial instrument is tied to the London Interbank, uh, ladies and gentlemen. It's the, it's the defining moment. There's never been anything like it. It's Western banking and basically pillaging coming to an end so that the new world order can bring on uh, their uh, replacement that will require everyone to take the mark of the beast. Now, uh, uh, LIBOR stands for the London Interbank Offered Rate, okay? It's a yeah. daily reference rate based on the interest rates at which banks borrow unsecured funds. And when you're dealing with that, real simply meaning that uh, it's what banks use to set the rates. Now, obviously, banks want to make money. But now you're hearing things about uh, uh, countries having to go with negative interest rates to sell their bonds. In other words, Doug, let me make it real simple. There is no solvency. That's these word. Solvency is in direct opposition to liquidity. If you go into a bank and a bank will give you $10,000 because they made an error, they added too many zeros to your account, ultimately you'll be found out. But they can create money by just making digital entries. Whereas solvency would state that, sure, if the bank literally created $10,000 in your account when there was only 1000 prior to that, you have 9000 new computer dollars, but you may be a million dollars in debt. You'll, figure, you'll feel like you've got, gee, I've got $10,000 in my pocket now, but you'll forget about the other debt against it, and that's what's happening. To uh. make it real simple, this is how to make it as simple as I know how. Take everything of value in the United States, every single thing of value, and then understand that a group of pirates, okay, flying the Jolly Roger, have basically substituted a promissory note or a piece of trash in some form or another, an IOU, but you've given them your livelihood. It's kind of like this. If somebody, and this is how it works real basically, if somebody says, give me a million dollars, I'll give you 10%, well, you give the guy the million dollars, the first year you get 10%, you're bragging to all your buddies that, uh, gee, you made 10% on your investment. Uh, one week after that, you find out that the company that gave you your 100000 and paid you that 100000 in return, a 10% return on a million, they've just gone bankrupt, belly up, or they're being investigated because they just stole the client funds. Okay, Now, that's really simplistic. But you don't have to make this complicated, and that's what I think what, what V is trying to bring people to the understanding of, and simply the understanding of, is that when this thing is fully understood, that the upheaval, the peril, and the, uh, if you will, the, the Civil War, when people find out that everything they believed is a lie. Now, listen, I, I know that this is hard for people to believe, but why is it that they can't see that Greece has gone bankrupt, that Spain has gone bankrupt, that uh, different banks, even Deutsche Bank last uh, weekend on Friday, closed uh, off their banks to ATM machines? The reason ATM machines go down isn't computer hacking, because that's where the money is, the actual currency currency, and it's on a worldwide scale now that the powers that be that want a new world order are destroying the old world order. Look, it's just like this. They're the new kids on the blockchain in India. They pillage the American financial structure. They've given America so much debt that everyone's under 18 to 21 percent credit card debt. The houses they borrow money on that they thought were a perpetual piggy bank and would only go up and up in price, they crash so they're in a negative equity position. All the mortgages in the country, both known and unknown, are sold to sovereign wealth funds, i.e. China, i.e. Saudi Arabia, different groups of big money people. And those people can demand ownership of their commercial paper. George Bush allowed uh, international UCC enforcement Uniform Commercial Code, so I think it's pretty funny. The idea of the invaders coming to take away our stuff, they already own it legally. They're just coming to perfect their liens. Okay, and, and, that's, and I have to say, ladies and gentlemen, you know, it, what Steve is saying, to me, uh, this, this world of finance and, and you know, LIBOR, the, the rates and what have you, and the fixing of the rates and the, the central banks and such, Man, I'll tell you what. Uh, you know, my my eyes were bleeding after re after reading page after page after page of how this stuff works or is supposed to work, and then 
um, you know, to, to to try to extrapolate that into something somebody could understand. I, I, first of all, I think they make it deliberately complicated. But, uh, but but then but 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 but, but what you're saying, and I and I came to this conclusion myself after going back and reading what your source had said to you. It's the people behind this. It's it's. Uh, you know, it's it's not necessarily uh, the big banks or the central banks. It's the cabal of financiers, and those are your sources' words, and the system that they have propagated that is the issue here, that the, the parasitic cancer cancer's growth, and and that of course is the core of the problem. And and what you just said basically is everything is. Uh, I, I, I mean, every, uh, yeah, it's gone. I mean, we, we've got no solvency. Yeah, you're right. We've got no solvency. I don't know how else to explain it. I mean, yeah, it, it's gone. Well, again, it's gone. It's history. It's toast. And see, this is something that people can't get out of. I would call it the uh, the old America reference point. Oops, sorry about that. Am yeah, I still sure. on? Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, I don't have a cord long enough to turn out or turn around. I was going to look at something. We're having a giant storm here passing through in Bozeman, so uh, you know it's, it's starting to break now. I was just worried I was going to lose my power. I have a generator, so I wanted to let you know if I go off, it's because it's pretty stormy. Okay. But anyway, the thing the thing is is that what what is the I guess you'd say the hardest point to get across. It, see, and I deal with this so many times, Doug, every single day, and, and so do other people, but it just seems that people cannot make the, the linkage in their thinking and the actions to how can a worldwide financial meltdown already underway affect them in America. Well, maybe they can't make that connection, but let me share this. What you can make the connection to is supply and demand. As the supply is diminished, it doesn't matter, coin, corn, soybeans, wheat, and everything that's made with that, obviously that means the products that utilize the raw materials or the commodities are going to rise in price. Yeah. And as the world becomes wealthier and the Americans have been plundered, people can't get it through their head that your, your capital, that which you once owned, that which you kept in your local banks, is gone. And what V, and again, he, he's made the best case of anybody, and I got a lot of flack from people. You can't tell me that somebody's going to orchestrate robbing my bank account because I bank at First uh, National Stupid uh, Donkey Bank, and uh, they tell me my investment is secure. So what happens? We come up with, we get the director of the NSA, Hey, probably guy's telling the truth. He just isn't telling who's doing it behind the scenes. But the point is, is that he tells the truth. When I say the truth is, is that the NSA chief, cyber tax skyrocket, account for largest transfer of wealth ever. The bottom line is, here's the head of the NSA, cyber attack skyrocket. And I put SQ note. I told you this was coming years ago. Guess what? It's here. And again, the point is, is that it's amazing that critics lose track of, uh, you know, when you've talked about this stuff 10 or 15 years ago, all close to the last minute. Let me read this, Doug. The head of the National Security Agency and U.S. Cyber Command said Monday that cyber tax shot up 44% in 2011 and now account for the greatest transfer of wealth in history. Now, again, this is this is interesting. He said that for every company that knows it has been hacked, another 100 do not know that their systems have been breached. So this means that what I've been trying to warn people, when you sit down with former Cold War spies, and they're saying before the invasion, before the war, every single bank account is going to be pillaged, then the point is is that you've got to take, you look, you don't have to believe me because, of course, I'm an alarmist. Well, if I found a five, uh, you know, uh, horn or five, uh, whatever, siren alarm, this guy's sounding a hundred. And yet, again, because it hasn't hit, hit them yet, they just don't believe it's going to hit them. You, you know something, and, and, and having been privy or being, being privy to his writings, uh, you know, confidentially, uh, I've got to say this. Number one, yeah, you are correct. Uh, he, he's correct. You're correct. Weeks ahead of the media. Uh, the, the thing that got me is what you just said there about the supposed, the alleged hacking, in a way. I, I, you use different terms, but but uh, that, that that made the news. You know, taking place what sixty plus banks at the same time. 
it's nothing more than uh, than a smokescreen a diversion where the it's a silent uh, stealth bank run by the elites is what you're saying. Absolutely. It, it, In other words, you don't have to have Blackbeard, Redbeard, Redbeard, or any of the pirates, you know, or the uh, the favorite pirate ships. They got their computer programs, and some of those computer programs, by the way, have you very unique uh, names, and I'm not privy to them, but one guy just said this, imagine the great uh, rip-offs in history, and that's what the computer programs are titled behind the scene. Now, those who are in the world of uh, cybersecurity and stuff probably know them. I don't. I'm not playing them. I just don't know them.